What's up you lot? It's Michael here. I hope you're having a great day. I'm definitely having a great day today with the new Dell XPS 15 that came in the mail. It's got an OLED screen. We're going to be doing some comparison between devices, a little bit of gaming, a little bit of productivity, day-to-day -daily, daily activities, maybe some medical imaging as well. So let's get into it. Let's unpack this bad boy, shall we? The unboxing experience with Dell is definitely one of the uh, best ones on the market. I did unbox a couple of laptops in my lifetime and in comparison to this um, HP Envy X360 with the Ryzen 7 4700U, um, the experience is completely different. This uh, device came in a standard plain box with no design features. However, opening up this Dell, uh, even in the very beginning, you can see this slide mechanism that makes the whole process um, very very attractive you open this up and you get the the box that basically uh, the device sits inside uh, yeah uh -oh. Dell XPS the logo this is what you get inside it's a beautiful beautiful uh, box uh, the device is inside, obviously, you get some paperwork, some chargers, some cables, a USB-C to HDMI uh, dongle device, very handy. And the whole box is, it's got some character, it's got some, some details, unlike other devices on the market, so big plus for Dell for this. So as always, first things first, uh, the, if you open up the laptop, you need to be able to open it with one hand. It's definitely doable on the Dell XPS 15, the newer version. On the, uh, on the, X, on the HP NV X360, it's more or less doable. However, uh, you have to be either quick or um, help yourself with uh, another, another hand. Um, the design differences between the old old model and the 2021 uh, version um, are minimal. Basically, uh, the two devices look exactly the same. You've got this enormous, enormous touchpad, uh, thin thin bezels all around. The camera is is on top over here. You have two uh, high quality microphones uh, built in. Um, so uh, the design features of this new Dell XPS 15 are more or less the same as the previous model. Yeah, that's the build quality. Pure metal sound that you get with the Dell XPS. Um, however, uh, you only have USB-C ports. Of this year, two USB-C ports on this side, one USB-C port on this side, and a SD card reader. Uh, uh, all of them work as power delivery, so you can charge your uh, your device uh, using any port. That uh, comes handy if you have limited uh, desk space. I suspect this one is um, USB 4. Yes, USB 4 standard. And these two are Thunderbolt 4 standard uh, because this laptop comes with a 11th gen uh, Intel uh, CPU, namely the 11800H. Uh, it's the 8 core 16 thread CPU, it's the newest, newest gen. Um, the, um, also, the specs uh, bump uh, for this year include a RTX, Nvidia RTX. 3050 Ti with four gigs of VRAM, so that's new for this uh, for this year. Mm, this particular model comes with 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD. Uh, the RAM and the uh, drives are upgradable, so if you take the bottom cover off, you can upgrade them yourself. So this is um, basically it uh, when it comes to uh, the specs. Um, however, mm, the camera is still the same, 
so they didn't make any updates on this and the big difference is the screen this is an oled screen 3.5k oled display only available on the 15 inch um, devices this year and believe me uh, once you go oled you will never go back if someone says to you that you will not see the difference between a 4K screen and a Full HD screen, uh, in my opinion, they're not fully correct. Uh, this is a 13-inch device. You might struggle a little bit finding the differences when uh, comparing 4K and, and a Full HD screen on a 13-inch form factor. Um, however, if I had the opportunity, I would definitely choose the, the, the higher resolution because the crispness the, the sharpness is definitely noticeable. Like I said, once you go OLED, you will never go back. It's, it's difficult to give you some sort of a comparison between these two screens because this one is OLED and this one is an, um, an IPS uh, uh, Full HD screen. However, I tried to uh, calibrate these two screens as, as much as I can. Uh, to give you a of, uh, the best comparison there is. Obviously, this is a glossy screen. Uh, this is a better quality um, reflection rejecting a screen. So, uh, but uh, I tried to calibra calibrate this HP NV um, to match the colors and the brightness of this um, Dell XPS. I spent some time doing that and this is the closest I can get. Basically, you can see the difference, uh, the infinity contrast, the, 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 the deep contrast that the OLED gives you is, is definitely amazing. It, uh, all the colors look uh, much better, especially the reds and, and the yellows um, look much vibrant, much more pronounced. If, if if you're into uh, media c consumption or um, video editing or photo editing it's definitely it's definitely better to have this OLED screen um, available to you because it's going to give you better better results also uh, another thing is medical imaging I chose this Dell with an OLED touch screen because uh, my missus uh, she's working in the medical industry and her old laptop uh, is is an HP from 2012. It's really a miracle that it's still working, but it's about time to replace this device. And I specifically chose the OLED screen because the, 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 the contrast uh, infinity uh, ratio is um, is uh, amazing and when you're analyzing uh, medical images uh, the grayscale has to be has to be very very accurate of course there are um, medical screens medical monitors that are specifically made uh, towards viewing images of, uh, of high significance and these medical screens uh, are manufactured to a completely completely different standard and if you really have the, uh, the money and you are really bound by the legislation that requires you to have a certified medical imaging uh, diagnostic screen then you should go and buy a uh, that, that kind of screen because um, not only they are uh, produced according to a different standard, the DICOM, DICOM uh, standards and the reproduction of the grayscale, not only the colors, but the grayscale reproduction is completely different and uh, it's really crucial, important for the, for the professional that is dealing with this kind, these kind of um, images. However, if you're uh, sitting at home and you just want to compare some, uh, some, some stuff, uh, do some, uh, some unpaid work, and uh, an OLED screen will give you the contrast necessary to reproduce the, um, the grayscale more or less, which is up to the standard. Don't quote me on that. Typing on this XPS of Dell is a, a nice experience. Main benefit uh, using this uh, Dell for me is that when you uh, have your uh, fingers on the keys, the trackpad, the touchpad is so big, you don't even have to move your fing fingers from the keyboard. You can use your thumb to actually move the, the mouse on the screen. 
of course uh, Dell XPS it's a uh, laptop it's not a two-in-one so you can just open it up and this is the the furthest it will go however um, HP Envy X360 yeah and this is why I love this device There are a few problems with this Dell, definitely. When I uh, open it up, uh, I uh, start to play around, I try to uh, increase the volume. And you can hear, this is not a clean sound. Something's rattling inside. So I don't know if this is only my unit or Dell. The quality control something's wrong over here yeah if you're planning to do some productivity for example of uh, premiere pro editing or after effects uh, well for premiere pro both of these devices are sufficient um, this one this ryzen uh, 7 um, 4700u in the hp envy x360 um, is a eight core uh, non, no hyper-threading on this one is a 8-core uh, CPU and uh, editing on uh, using Premiere Pro is, is fine. Even, even if you're editing 4K videos, there's no problem. Uh, um, same situation over here with the Dell XPS. There's no problem editing uh, any, any videos in Premiere Pro. However, the problem starts when you start using After Effects. After Effects needs a lot of VRAM. You have a dedicated GPU on the Dell XPS, however, there's no dedicated GPU on the HP Envy. And this one is using the integrated GPU with only 512 megabytes, megabytes of VRAM on board. However, this is using a dedicated uh, GeForce uh, 3050 Ti with 4 gigs of VRAM. So it's definitely going to make a difference when doing some sort of a project in After Effects because you have that VRAM basically. Specifically, this HP Envy X360 is, is beneficial for me because it's smaller. I can take it with me anywhere. I can make notes. Mm, sure, the screen is not as beautiful, uh, that's the downside, but it can do this. Die! Sure, you can have the 13-inch um, two-in-one from Dell. Uh, I don't know if they have an OLED screen on that one, so uh, yeah, but they de definitely, on the 13-inch, they definitely don't have a CPU that can match the last year's 4700U from AMD if you find any any 13 inch from dell that has a cpu more powerful than this one the amd uh, one uh, let me know down in the comments uh, my trusty crt screen for some hardcore gaming um i only use this one for battlefield so definitely so yeah guys thank you very much for watching you've been here a while i hope you liked uh, the information that i gave uh, it's a really amazing device i would really like to have it as my daily driver however i would prefer the 13 inch two in one maybe next time um, if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments i'm going to be using these two devices as my daily drivers this one's going to be on the go the hp nv x360 because it's a flip flip two in one and this one's going to be a stationary um, uh, monster uh, when I'm not using that one. Okay, see you in the next one.